why would you drink and drive? I'm going to Sydney, so I just thought... But why would you drink alcohol whilst you're driving? It's not going to intoxicate me. How do you know? Any bit of alcohol, especially that amount of alcohol, yeah. is going to have some effect. It's have you got a drinking problem? No. I dropped my daughter at Anna Bay and the bottle shop was there. I thought, oh, I'll just have a bourbon on my way to Sydney. All right. Suspicious the breathalyzer might be faulty. Officer Gilmore isn't taking any chances. I have to apologise, but I'm going to have to retest you. I believe that the, the machine that I've got, there might be something wrong with it, OK? Oh, I like the first reading. Well, I can understand that. Look, what I need you to do, lips around. Same again. And blow nice and steady. Go ahead now, blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop now, thank you. This second test should set the record straight. No, it's all fine. Can you just hop out of the car for me, please? Have you had any other substance this evening? Nope. Nothing at all? Nope. It's just I'm looking at your eyes and they just don't look right to me. Mate, I'm fine. I just drove from Sydney to Newcastle, spent two hours with my daughter. Now I've got to drive home. Um, mate, you can test me for whatever. It's fine. You haven't had any illicit substances whatsoever? No, mate, I've got to drive back, mate. No, that's not the issue. I'm saying a lot of people, they're tired, take illicit substances to make sure that they can drive further and further and further. No. In Newcastle, Damien was drinking bourbon at the wheel, but despite this, He's blown zero on two separate breathalysers, surprising both police and himself. Oh. But Officer Gilmore is not convinced. You haven't had any illicit substances whatsoever? No, mate, I've got to drive back, mate. No, that's not the issue. I'm saying a lot of people, they're tired, take illicit substances to make sure that they can drive further and further and further. No. Uh, just throw it over here, thank you. Just walk up here. If you do me a favour, just walk right across to those officers in a straight line and then turn around and come back for me, thank you. In the absence of a drug testing kit, police put Damien through his paces, the old-fashioned way. All right. Just take your finger and point, close your eyes and try and point the end of your nose. All right. You seem OK. I'm fine. Yeah. All right, mate. Look, <laughs> infringement for that and then you'll be on your way, but... How much is the infringement? Uh, $300 and dollars, I think. No. Well, oh, mate, you can't drink and drive. That's, that's it's just silly. We've got to understand that no matter what alcohol we drink, we can't drink it on a motor vehicle. You could put yourself in a position where, you know, you could lose everything. If you haven't got a lid with that, then no. I'd like you to dispose of it because I'm not going to let you drive with that in the car again and then take the bottle with you. Thank you very much. All right, mate. Expensive lesson. I think it should be an expensive lesson, mate. You put yourself at risk and others at risk by doing that, OK? okay. Nice to meet you, Andrew. I wish Lovely. you'd been under Take better easy, circumstances. Mate. Take it easy. The last thing I was going to do was let him have that bottle so we can have another drink. Hopefully he's learnt from it. <laughs>